Hi everyone, Trash Expert here again. This time I want to talk to you about and I want to talk to clients about enhancing your salon experience and focusing more on your first visit. One of the things that there seems to be a lack of in the salon is communication. Communication, communication, communication is vitally important to the overall experience you have at your salon. You can't come in the salon looking like this and expect to walk out looking like this without you letting your stylist know a few key things. Things, um, number one, when you go to a salon for the first time and you meet your stylist, you should get a warm greeting and be walked over to her station or a consultation area. There should always be a consultation when this is your first time visiting the stylist. And there are certain things your stylist should ask, but I want to talk to clients because even if your stylist doesn't ask, you want your hair experience to be well. So I'm going to give you a few key things that your stylist needs to know about you and your hair before they begin. Um, it's vitally important that they know these things so that they can choose the proper products and do the proper techniques and cutting and styling and treating to get you the best result. So number one, um, let your stylist know what your concerns are. Your stylist needs to know if um, you're having shedding or if you feel like your hair is too heavy or greasy. Maybe you're using the wrong products that's making it feel heavy. Maybe, um, you know, this question about what are your concerns will lead to other questions. Like, for instance, if my, style, if my client tells me her concerns are with shedding or um, dry scalp. Dry scalp is very common amongst um, African American. So if my client tells me she's concerned with dry scalp, I'll ask her, you know, what products are you using? I might find that she's using something that's drying her scalp out. Are you drinking enough water? It's vitally important that you drink enough water because it affects what happens on the outside of your body, your skin, your scalp, etc. So what are your concerns with your hair is the first thing your stylist should know. Another thing your stylist needs to know is what products are you using. Even if you don't remember all of them, there's something that you use the most. Let your stylist know what products you've been using in your daily hair care and if they haven't been working and if, and if they have been working. It's very important. Um, number three, when was your last relaxer? Please know when your last relaxer was within a week or so because it's very important that we know when your relaxer is last relaxer was. Sometimes um, you have people come in and they flat iron their hair in between relaxer. So we might not see as much new growth as actually there. I can flat iron my hair to look straight and come in the salon and say I need a retouch. But if I didn't tell the stylist that I had my last relaxer eight months ago, the stylist doesn't know I have two and a half inches of new growth unless I tell them that. Because hair grows at a certain rate, if you let your stylist know when your last relax was, even if initially because you took out braids or you flat ironed your hair, I can't see with the naked eye how much new growth you have, I can estimate based on when your last relaxer was. When was your last color? This is also vitally important just for the simple fact that color. We don't want to put color too close to relaxer or relaxer too close to color or color too close to color. Um, overlapping and all those things. I need to know when your last color was. Next, um, talk to your stylist about what would be your ideal hairstyle, hair texture. How do you want your hair to look? What functionalities do you need your hair to have? I need to be able to pull it back on a ponytail. I need to be able to wrap it. Those types of things are important as to let your stylist know, you know, is it too thick? Is it too thin? So that we can style it and cut it accordingly to meet those needs that you really, really want to help your salon, um, your hairstyling uh, routine at home become more easier. Um, and if you're coming to see a stylist for the first time and you've been at a past stylist, let your stylist know why you left your last stylist. Not in 
a nosy way you know you don't have to get into detail if you left your last stylist because of a personal problem just say that but if you left your last stylist because she was messing up your hair or she made your hair too greasy or she didn't cut it right let your stylist know that as a courtesy so that they will be more conscious of it and not make the same mistakes we want you to be happy getting your hair done, not sitting there worrying about if she's going to do the same thing, but you never told your stylist, he or she, you never told your stylist, well, my last stylist used that and it was it made my hair burn, or my last stylist used that. Let your new stylist, your new potential stylist know why you're leaving the one from the past. And most importantly, and stylist, you need to ask this. This is also more for the stylist, this one, than it is for the client. Clients, you can do it as a courtesy. Let Ask your client how they heard about you, how they were referred to you. It's important in your marketing efforts to know what's been working for you and what's not. So let them know how they heard about you. And all of these things um, are key for your stylist to know to make your hair be the best it can be. We're not psychics. You know, we can look at your hair and it look like one thing, but unless we know the ins and outs of what you've been doing, what you've done in the past, these are vital things that we need to know. I mean, think about it. If you go to a restaurant and you're allergic to peanuts and you don't let the chef know that you're allergic to peanuts, the chef may cook your food with peanut oil or something that contains peanut and next thing you know you're having an allergic reaction. Is it the chef's fault? The chef did not know. Now granted the chef should ask but you also as the customer and the client if the chef doesn't ask let the chef know. And if your stylist doesn't ask let the stylist know and you'll be able to better determine whether your stylist is concerned about your hair or not. So with that being said, please take these steps into consideration and put them in action on your next visit. Even if you've been seeing the same stylist for a couple of weeks, a couple of months, even a couple of years, if these are things that maybe your stylist doesn't know in between visits that you use this or in between visits you go here, let them know. You might see a big difference in your hair. Thanks again. Trust Expert signing off. Thanks for watching.